So guys, welcome to another video on the channel. In this video, we are going to be installing the Dorenza exhaust on the R53. And we're probably gonna do some other tiny things as well while we're here. So without further ado, I already got the car jacked up so we can get to the underneath. So first and foremost, we're gonna be removing the old exhaust. Let's go. So to remove the old exhaust, we have two rubbers here and then one on the other side of this muffler. Now, just to remove the exhaust, I'm probably just gonna loosen up this hanger so that the muffler just goes, falls down. Then we also have our midsection mount. Don't mind mine, mine is yeah, cut from the previous owner. So we have the mid mount here that we're gonna loosen up and we're gonna loosen up the exhaust right there uh, at, the engine, at the exhaust manifold for the engine. And then we're gonna put that on and then a later date, I'll maybe pull the exhaust manifold for giving it a heat wrap, but today it's all about the cat bag because this thing needs to go ASAP. So let's get it out. So guys, the exhausts are now off the car. So this is the exhaust that I've been running on the Mini. And as you can see, yeah. so if we start over here, actually one bolt was already bad, bad the, first one I took, the first time I took it off. Now the new bolt I put in was also C, so we needed to cut it off again. So then we have some patchwork over here with a patch next to a weld, onto a weld, so that's pretty buggered. Then for some reason there's a pipe here so I think this is where normally the exhaust would maybe turn off to the missing muffler. But yeah, we actually welded in a new pipe. The one before this was actually even more crooked. Uh, so we actually fixed it up pretty nicely, thanks to one of my colleagues who actually knows how to weld. I need to learn that skill somewhere down the road. And then we have like this original part of the exhaust. So original muffler with the twin exit. So this thing, except for the mount here, is for sale or going in the bin. Either way, um, I'm not keeping this. Now let's look at the shiny new parts. So first and foremost, nice dual muffler setup with some faux carbon fiber tips with then this nice straight pipe with a resonator no missing no booger welds no nothing like everything is nicely sealed up uh, i'm really looking forward to seeing this on the car so bye bye old exhaust hello dorenza so now to put this on i'm gonna first uh, look into removing the clamp that i left behind behind on the car to get the rubber bushings to put on the new mufflers and then we can put the mufflers in and then put the last piece in here it will be amazing so let's first get the clamp off move the rubbers over and then get this in the car a bit of an update while uh, i think just a bit of a, a, a thing to tell you guys it's very fun to buy an old car like here we have the exhaust hook with the, the outside one now on the passenger side dum, 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 we have where is it? There. And on the other side, we've got nothing. So there is nothing here. Awesome. Also this, this big heat shield, it's actually torn, so it's not uh, attached here. Not attached here, not attached on the other side. It's just attached like with these two bolts here. And because it's laying inside of this rear bumper lip. So we're gonna get rid of it as a measure of, let's say, yeah, weight reduction. <sighs> so much fun to work, to work on your own car. Well, 
it's a hobby well I still love the car but things like this make me wish I got a better chassis but hey we'll fix it and we'll drive it some more maybe one day we'll put it in the wall and need a new chassis who knows but for today let's remove this heat shield and I'm gonna temporarily fix the exhaust on two hangers and just get some new uh, rubbers because those are perished and torn as well so what do you know this car is old <laughs> ah, laughing with my own misery it's amazing but guys I'm just gonna remove this and we're gonna put the new exhaust on and hopefully hear it start for the first time I'm so excited to hear this car So after talking some very nice and this encouraging words, this piece of whatever came out. Well now, you can just see the bare chassis under here. I am not really that worried that there's no heat shield here, just because one is the end of the exhaust, so that hot, it won't get that hot in either way. The only thing that may get a bit annoying is that this well, it's nicely tucked out of the way but this is actually the wire for the battery so the main power wire so if this were to melt maybe but I guess the exhaust will pass through and this will actually not get that hot so we'll see once the exhaust is on I will check the clearance here if there's like more than a few centimeters like around here I will not really I won't worry about it but it is something to keep in mind and maybe put some heat shielding over but it's actually just this one wire behind here uh, otherwise yeah clean car we have a nice and straight chassis on both sides so that's a plus but now finally let's get this Dorenza on
So as you guys heard, the new exhaust actually sounds pretty amazing. So I'm really, really happy with this. Like it's, it's. I was so surprised because the, the previous exhaust has like this like little tingy, almost chainsawy ref. So it was nice. So when this started up, it was like this this bottom bassy growl and I was really really I'm really into that like it reminded me a bit of the Mazda but it still sounds different with the supercharger and everything but I gotta say this car now sounds amazing so to finish off I'm gonna clean up and I am thinking of doing one last mod and that is the little GPS uh, GPS OBD2 speedo that I want to install in the interior so I'll see you guys in a bit so guys, so the last mod I actually wanted to do today was this little pillar pod. So you can buy this really cheap off of whatever site you can buy really cheap electronics from. But this is like a little screen that you put on the side of your e-pillar and it shows you like certain information from your OBD2 port. So you have an OBD2 cable here that will power it on has a little light sensor and yeah it would give us a bunch of info that we don't get otherwise so I'm gonna read through this so this should be pretty easy we'll remove this part of the A pillar cover here and then we just run the cable from here down to the OBD port and yeah I'll show you guys what it looks like once it is installed so guys, welcome to the office. I'm coming to from future actually. I've been editing the video, but I have to say I didn't film an outro for this one because I got a bit frustrated and it was my own stupid fault because the little Chinese OBD thing that I bought doesn't work for the O3 Mini Cooper S or Mini Cooper in general. So yeah, I kind of played myself there. So. I just GPS function works but I do want to find some other solution maybe I'll hang the cable to just give it an on and off uh, on 12 volt power or maybe I'll just buy some other cheap just 12 volt speedo USB thingy I will update you guys on that in a future video but I think that's where I'm gonna end the video I hope you all enjoyed the new exhaust note I am sure do and I'll just leave you guys with a bit more of exhaust noise in the outro but that's all I got time for this week guys I hope you all Enjoy the video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.